So some of you might be curious about the history of Valentine's Day. So before we get started with our project here, I'm just going to give you a little bit of history about Valentine's Day and how this uh, holiday came to be. So um, this history has been taken from a couple of different areas, including uh, HistoryChannel.com and uh, Wikipedia for some general historical information on Valentine's Day. Uh, so one of the theories is that uh, from the Catholic Church, uh, which was quite prominent in ancient history, Emperor Claudius II, who was a Roman emperor from 268 to 270, decided that single men made better soldiers. Uh, and so he made it that marriage was against the law. Uh, and another rumor states that Valentine was a priest in the Catholic Church and um, that he decided that um, Th this new law was not acceptable. And so he continued to perform marriages in secret. Eventually, the emperor discovered um, that Valentine was performing these marriages. And so he put him in jail and eventually he died. And so because he was jailed um, and died for his cause, he's considered a martyr. Another rumor or um, story that goes along with Valentine's Day is that uh, Valentine was actually in jail and he started falling in love with the jail keeper's daughter. And so as a result, he sent a love letter or a Valentine to the jail keeper's daughter. And the jailkeeper was not happy with the fact that one of his prisoners was sending a letter to his daughter, a love letter of all letters, um, and later Valentine died, also being considered a martyr. So all of this happened in the very, very um, early, early times. Uh, so in 496, Pope Glacius I decided that um, there was going to be a day in February, and it would be February 14th, and that would be in honor of the stories of Saint Valen of Valentine, um, celebrating love, and hopefully recognizing the early spring that would come as well. And so, since 496, we have celebrated Valentine's Day on February 14th. Hi friends, this is Kim from ArtReach. Thanks for joining us for our Kids and Culture for the month of February. Uh, for this month, we are going to do Valentine's. So if you picked up your Valentine kits, you would have gotten a bag with a bunch of their scrapbooking paper. There may be some assorted stickers, maybe some ribbons, and then some base cards in there. So you can work on the cards. Um, and this is meant to be more just a, a free for all, to decorate and design as you wish. Um, I'm just gonna do a couple samples just to give you ideas on where you can start, but you can really do what you like with it. So. Um, maybe one way to start is I cut out a piece of scrapbook paper and I just kind of left a little bit of edge and we can use a glue stick to paste that down. Um, and if you want to have some regular glue and scissors on hand, those might come in handy as well. So just give a light paste and stick that down. Um, you can further embellish it with, um, maybe you could cut out hearts out of another um, scrapbook paper that complements it. Um, maybe you use ribbon. So I just cut a piece of ribbon to maybe put along the edge. I just cut it right about the width of there. So maybe I'll use my regular glue and paste that down. And maybe be sparingly with the glue because if you get too much, then it gets really soggy and doesn't actually want to stay put. All right, that's in place. I'll let that dry for a bit. Maybe I finish it off with a sticker. So if there's maybe a sticker like that, maybe I'll take that off and paste it right like that. And that would make one card. I'll go ahead and set that aside. 
Here's another example. Um, I was, I cut out a piece of scrapbook paper to fit my cardstock. So I'll just line it up and place it like that. Um, part of the kits may have come with some of the little paper doilies. Those are fun. You can kind of overlay, wrap around. You can draw on them if you want. You can stick stickers on them. You can cut them up. So I took one and just kind of cut out little corner pieces. So maybe if I use my glue stick, I will paste those corner pieces on a couple of the corners of my card. Oh, I got glue stick on here. Do a little bit. Be careful, the glue stick wants to work its way through the little holes in there. So I'll go ahead and stick that on. There we go. Smooth it out. And then if you paste that on your base card, get something a little like that. You could decorate that with stickers. If you wanted to write a message on there, you could do that as well. Um, but you are pretty much fair game to create as you wish. Have fun with it. Um, if you'd like to send us any pictures of your finished products, we'd love to see them. Thank you so much. Have a good one.